This is the vertical light from Hydrogrow. It's a 504 watt LED light and it has a, a bunch of custom spectrums that were put into it. And I'm going to be building a mount for it today that's going to be used in the Volks garden. For the custom bracket that I'm going to build, I'm going to use two metal rods and they're just going to be placed across here. And I'll just drill, drill two holes, about 3 sixteenths of an inch, go through here and bolt it down. And for the actual vertical light, I will be using uh, all round steel strapping. And this will go around the light and then just bolt together with some bolts, washers and a, and a nut. And that will support the light. I'm about to put the light on here and then I'm going to strap it in with the machine strapping that I have. And it fits perfectly. I just cut three strips of the all around steel strapping with some tin snips. And this strapping is going to go around the areas of the light where there are no LEDs. The Volks Garden's all set up now. The light's really solid, so it's all strapped in here really well, so it's not going to fall off or move anywhere. And we're going to turn the light on for the first time, see what it looks like. That is very bright. Oh my gosh, that is, yeah, that's bright. I think the plants will do very well with this light. It's, uh, I can't even look at it from directly on. It's fine from this angle, because I'm not looking right at the lights dead on. This is the vertical light from Hydrogrill. It's running at 504 watts, and it's extremely bright. They're using all sorts of spectrums in here. I think there's uh, 620 all the way up to 660 nanometer red. Um, there's uh, some good blue spectrum. It's gonna really do well in the Volks Garden because it's giving off 360 degrees of light. And so as this thing rotates, it's gonna be getting a lot of lumens in there and, uh, and a really good spectrum for, for the growth. I think it looks great and it actually fits perfectly inside the Volks Garden. I'm really looking forward to, to trying it out and growing with it. My students and I are going to be growing romaine lettuce in the, in the Volks Garden using the vertical light and I think it's going to grow the lettuce very well. Um, after the lettuce, if there's enough time before June, we'll I'll try some other test runs with uh, lettuce or other herbs. And when September rolls around for the new school year, I'm looking forward to growing strawberries in the system. I believe that the spectrum of light that the vertical light has will grow strawberries very well. I think the spectrum will cause a, a lot of the flowers to bloom and I think we'll have some heavy fruiting with this light.